Uh, hi, I'm Kurt Akahan. Uh, my craft is a trained cinematographer, uh, feature documentaries, uh, the Academy of uh, Medical Center News documentary. Uh, I also uh, have a um, interest in a uh, production agency called AdSmith, and we do content, not production. Uh, we're trying to change language and get a little more forward with actually what it really is. So we create content for Bank of America, John Deere, uh, B of A, Toyota Lexus. Uh, mainly in the space of cor cor uh, corporate communication uh, facing either outward or internal, but mainly branding is kind of our special. Because <laughs> I, I think I mentioned earlier that uh, at Axmith we, we kind of evolved from being a video, corporate video production company to a uh, film production company, and uh, all the films kind of coming back <laughs> into content creation. And I think as educators, as people in the, in the, in, in the in the trades, that I think we have a responsibility to evolve and represent what we actually do rather than kind of get stuck into like titles of what we, we did in the past. Not because of dinosaurs like me. As a cinematographer, we are quite grounded in legacy. We are quite grounded in our tradition and history where we came from. You know, Great Poland, you can go all the way to the great cinematographers. Any one of you can go to the ASC Clubhouse, American Society of Cinematographers. And you will go there and you will see in any given day the world's best cinematographers and you wouldn't know who they were. Uh, you could chat with them uh, and they would share the knowledge. That's not quite the same experience I got in the restaurant business with chefs because that's a little. <laughs> but with us, it's very open. So the exciting thing about, I think, the trends are here, you can see by all the panelists, is the content that your students are creating isn't just for television isn't just for web broadcasts, isn't just for Netflix. It's going to be facing outward, it's going to be facing internally, they're going to be, and we can see that in the back of our B of A client. Five, six years ago, as, they, as I think Kristen was saying, they would send out their junior uh, creative, uh, creative uh, person from the PR agency. Well, now we're seeing either the actually marketing vice presidents of Bank of America and or the agency heads, the names on the door, actually show up to our augmented reality productions. Because it's now becoming extremely important because they see the power of this no longer alternate way of distribution, but actually the way content is actually being seen and viewed. So it's a very exciting time. Uh, I have a business degree from Cal State University of Fulton, uh, University of Fulton go Tigers. Um, I went to uh, Cal State when I was go, uh, Cal State Who back in, when we were first in the dance scene and finally with a 16 basketball. But anyway, um, <laughs> the point is this I have a business degree. Everything that I learned at Cal State Fullerton is being applied now in branding and marketing and sales and what we create as content creators. And we're just basically putting a line up and we're putting a camera on. The power of what you are going to implode, I mean, expose your students is more powerful, I will dare say, than the, all the marketing executives in the world. Why? Because they're coming to our set and they're giving us money and they're valuing our opinion. So do not sell your ability to influence, your ability to educate, and your ability to inspire people who are in content creation, your kids, to what they really can do. And by one last thing is that in our augmented reality world, we are seeing photography, we are seeing uh, recording artists, we're seeing all of the various crafts that we call trades. It's not art. We are not doing art. Motion pictures is not art. It is a craft that have elements of art. If you want to get art, go to Laguna Beach where Bernie lives and sit down there and entertain. <laughs> as soon as you interject money or you interject a client, you have to push that down to your students that if they like it because it's a kind of a fun lifestyle, it could be, or it's artistic, they're going to fail miserably and they're going to cause some kind of emotional harm and I, I think some damage because they're going to waste time. They're going to waste time pursuing a dream, not going for what they really have as a passion. Okay, so that would be my only big thing. Think globally, see how you can evolve your language from video to content and seeing how you can apply whatever that element of content in your craft into the bigger picture of creating stories in all platforms.